Yo, yo, what's up, Checker mates? I'm Ivan P. I'm Ed, and this is the top upcoming best Croatian prospects. Let's go. Let's do it. I mean, I think we're in another kind of era of new, young Croatian it's talent a bright that's future. coming up. It's a bright future. Very skilled future. We haven't seen this probably since the Bilic era. No. In 2008, when he brought in, uh, you know, Luka Modric, Rakitic, Chorluka. I think we're looking at even a better, a more uh, vibrant era coming up to be I fair so. in talent because it's not just the talent that we have at midfield. And it looks like we're going to be able to replace a lot of the talent that we're going to end up losing at midfield with the players we're about to talk about. It's also the talent at striker, which we've been missing for so long. And you know what? There's enough names here to keep you toasty through those next months before Qatar. But also, on top of that, the defenders that we have, they're skilled. They're skilled in ways that we really haven't seen that much. Now, we've had defenders that we've all liked. You know, um, what's the fellow that played for Liverpool? His name's Drawn Blank. Uh, Lovren. Oh, God damn, love Lovren. You know, Charluca. Well, love and hate Lovren. He, I don't, he had some good games. He had some. A lot yeah, of he had a lot games. of heart. Charluca, awesome to watch. Vita, I loved all these guys. He had lo- Serna for a long time. Yeah, that's right. I mean, the way that they brought it in the back end, well, Serna a bit different, but these other guys were kind of tough, meaty, you know, fighters in the back end that you really come to appreciate, you know, but, you know, oftentimes their skill would be lacking. Well, these guys, uh, your Borna Sozas, your Guardiols, uh, They've got talent, you know, and and, and your Chitalo. I mean, this is this yeah. is impressive stuff. We're, we're, we're getting a lot of good new players. Yeah. Uh, now it's all going to depend on Dalic now, how he's going to integrate all these new players because we have a lot. I don't necessarily have the most faith that Dalic will integrate these guys in a timely fashion and get them in places that they're – get all of them in places where they'll be actually contributing and helping us out because I think they can contribute and help us out. But um, – that being said, let's uh, let's start at the back end and let's take a look at uh, our boy uh, Shutalo. Josip Shutalo he plays for Dinamo Zagreb right now. Uh, mostly He's on the homegrown club. Yeah, mostly central or right, uh, right back. This guy has a lot of hype because he has 23 games, two goals, three assists. Two goals, three assists. That's really good there. for a defender. Yeah, that's insane. He's a defender, and 7.3 sofa score. It, it's good, and I, and I uh, you got to appreciate really uh, how far Dinamo Zagreb's come in its uh, ability to develop talent because you're going to see a lot of these guys that we like coming up. They're all from that club and that academy, you know, a lot of them anyways. And he's 22 years old. Only 22. Only 22. And I, I've noticed that. tournaments ahead of him. Yeah. 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 I've noticed that Croatians, especially um, the younger guys, they kind of hit their peak in their late 20s. So all these guys have a lot of time to develop and play for for bigger clubs. True, true, true. And become better players. Any any um, any uh, any European clubs currently uh, bigger European clubs currently scouting this guy right now? I haven't checked, but uh, I'm sure. Yeah, there's yeah. got to be some interest. Uh, you know what? If you know it, please put it in the comments, and we'll get back to it later. You know. But Dinamo Zagreb is known to develop. Uh, great players. So uh, there's always team scouting Dinamo and Zagreb players. Yeah. Uh, let's just think about all the great players that came out of Dinamo, like Kovacic, Modric, Torluka, uh, you name it. Yeah, these guys become hot tibic- tickets. Lovren. You know? yeah, yeah, Lovren, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We, we went to Liverpool. I mean, that's yeah. a great place to be. So Shuta, great central and right back. All right. Well, let's uh, let's uh, let's take a look at uh, our boy uh, Guardiol. You know, just get him out of the he way. I think we've all got to see a lot of him recently. You know, especially with the qualifiers. And I, yeah. I think if you've been watching, you're pretty excited with how this guy really handles himself out there on that pitch. So Guardiol was recently named the best European defender under uh, 21. Get out of town. So oh, I believe it. So. A lot of teams are looking for Guardiol. He's playing for Red Bull Leipzig right now. He's he's not going to be there long. He's not going to be there long. Somebody's going to scoop him up, that's for sure. I don't know where, though, yet. Um, I'm not sure exactly who's scouting him either, but I'm very excited to see what's going to happen to him in the coming months, especially I bet you he's going to end up on a pretty strong European club uh, prior to Qatar. You know, we'll see it in you the next so? season. You think so? Before he, Qatar? I would assume so. There's no. I, I don't see this kid laying in waste too much longer because... These clubs are going to have to, once this kid gets the hype that he's getting, which he's getting, these clubs have to go nab him now before somebody else takes him. Yeah. It's, 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 you know, it's first come, first serve on this. Who's going to give him the good offer right away? Uh, I love this guy. I love how he eats up the ball. I he's love strong. how he's super strong. He's talented. He gets upfield. Like, 
I was very impressed. I didn't know when I first watched him play, I really didn't know anything about him. And then I was seeing him all over the pitch so much that I wasn't really sure what position he was playing because he's he's just everywhere. And great ball control. Great ball control. Strong player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's it, it's what you want. You want you want defenders that can defend, and he definitely can do that. But that can also grab that ball and push it the other way. You yeah. know? Excellent defender. Um, I think there's many teams looking for him. Arsenal, I think. Uh, who else? I think even Barcelona. Was looking for, oh no, sorry, that was, that was Borna Sosa. Borna Sosa uh, yeah, Barcelona. yeah, yeah. Borna, Borna Sosa was getting a lot of. That's locks. another guy. Let's so jump let's, into let's, Borna Sosa. Let's get into Borna Sosa. Let's oh, let's man. clear this controversy out of okay. the way first. Good, and yeah. I think this might maybe this is partly Dalic's fault though. Probably. But uh our boy Borna Sosa wanted to play for Germany. Yeah, I don't know if he wanted to play for Germany. Well, that's the reports. Like, There's the reports. He was yeah. tried. He tried. Uh, he tried he, to he play tried for Germany. to see his mother's German, so he's got that qualification for it. But yeah. I guess now I'm forgetting what the rules were exactly. But he definitely played for Croatia enough. He played and, for Croatia uh, under 21. And, and and FIFA FIFA just shut he's that down. 24 yeah. years old. He was 24 years old or 23 at the time. I guess he felt. This is a kid that probably felt like he should have been playing more with the big guys. Yeah. He wasn't, and he was starting to get irate about it, feel like his career wasn't moving forward fast enough. He was being held back, and so he tried to uh, defect to Germany. He wanted to play but, for the big tournaments. He wants to play at Heroes, at the World Cups. You can't blame yeah, him. Yeah, it's understandable. These kids want to play, and if they're not playing, they're going to they're gonna go somewhere that's going to want them to play. That being said... Let's get into this guy's skill set. That being it said, is, well, uh, it's pretty. It's pretty high. It's he, it's a he, uh, This guy is like a Superman man. Yeah, he, no, he's, he's, like, a, he's a bit of a superstar back there. He's a superstar. He plays for Stuttgart. Yep, Stuttgart. Um, he has twenty six games, one goal, seven assists. So coming his out of crosses, the wing back, yeah. he's a left back. His crosses are perfect. They're yeah, saying they're really they're, good. they're comparing his crosses to to, to Beckham. Uh, get out of town. Yeah. Get out of town. Yeah, serious. Yeah, this guy's got a lot of pace, a lot of control. Yeah. Uh, if you watch, if you watch any footage of him, you're gonna see him taking a lot of balls out of tight spaces, taking a lot of balls out of uh, the the opposition's attack, getting it out of there, moving it upfield really nice, joining the attack. He loves being upfield. He's playing in a system right now that really complements his skill set too. They're, they really like to push from the back end. So, I mean, it's really good that he's there. It's uh, We'd like to see him go on to something else similar to that in the EPL as well. I would really like to see him in the EPL. EPL. Or I think, like I said, Barcelona, Barcelona was interested in him. So, imagine that. Yeah, that would be huge. That would, that would be, be huge. huge. And I think yeah. he would excel in Barcelona. Yeah. His yeah. speed, his technique, his strength. He's got touch. He's he, got touch. His first he, touches he, are, 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 are really sweet, you know, like... He's just beautiful to watch. Yeah, he really just is something beautiful else. It's, it's great to know that to you, you can have that guy back there coming up like that. He's a left-footed uh, player as well. I believe so. Yeah, he? I'm pretty sure he's left-footed, yeah. And you know what? He is confident. Oh, he's very mad confident. confidence. Mad he, confidence. You don't try to defect to another country after you've already <laughs> played for them if you're not mad confident. This guy's it, it's oozing. He reminds me of a lot of other players from different sports. A lot of young rookies from other sports that really have all the talent in the world and feel like they should be getting more. And I don't mind that. I don't mind that because I like a guy that believes in himself. I like a guy that bets on himself. You know, this yep. guy's going to be us. He, he's with us. He might be stuck with us. Let's, you know, stuck with us. Yep. But hell, well, man, I think, I think he's going to – well, I think some of that sentiment definitely changed when he was in qualifying games. Yeah. You know, so, so he, got to, he got to be up with the big boys in, in qualifying. He knows he's going to be at Qatar. He knows he's going to have a role at Qatar. Yeah. Definitely. I think that's, that's, that's for sure. He, he, I mean, you know? no question about it. He's a proud Croatian. He, he, he loves playing for Croatia. Luckily, it's not something – yeah, it's not – this is a football – yeah. discussion of uh, it's yeah. not like he's trying to tear up his passport no. you know but luckily Dallas called him up for uh yeah. the world cup qualifying and um he stated you know he's proud croatian and he loves playing for croatia and uh but talking about his confidence once again he said in an interview that um he's going to world cup to win the whole thing usually you don't hear players say that usually they said oh we're gonna go for one game at a time he says, I want to go to the World Cup and win the whole thing. Ooh. So that's where the confidence comes in, and I oh, love it. I God. love it. I love it. Like that's what money. I want to hear from players. Yeah, that's what I want to hear. That's what I want to hear from players. That's I don't want to hear, yeah, we're just going to go there one game at a time. No, I want to say I'm no, going no, no, to win no, the no, whole damn thing. This guy's a dog. And he says, I want to play the best teams. I want to play Brazil. Yeah. Just, now, this guy that wants 
I mean, you got to love a guy that just really wants the ball at his feet at all uh, times. I just love you that know? And, and, he, and he's a back that's like that. It's, you know, he's kind of comparable in, a, in some ways to, uh, I guess, Alfonso Davies even, you know. Yeah. These yeah, guys right. that have got mad skill from the yeah. back end. Um, yeah. Alfonso's not going to play in the back end uh, in the tourney, but still. I mean, it's impressive. Uh, I love to see it. It it makes for exciting football, you know, and it's just going to be awesome watching him get that ball back there and drive it upfield and and, and create havoc. And and you're telling me that we we don't just have him, we have Guardiola as well? We have Sosa with Guardiola, yeah. We have uh, Shutalo as well. Why? What is this back end that we have? Back end that, that we can st- score goals. What is this nonsense? Yeah. How do you? How did we do what? How did we get this? Future's okay, it's looking bright. We're right. getting lucky here. Okay, let's. Uh, we're gonna let's, midfield. No, well, let's look at another superstar. Yeah, the midfield. Yeah, you yeah, let's go. Let's I want to talk about another superstar right now that we both love. Oh, uh, who are we going for? Love Romero. Oh, oh Romero. okay. We're going midfield. We're going. <laughs> my. Well, what can you say about this guy? That's, that hasn't already been said. I oh, mean, man. we don't even need to cover him so much because I think you know at this point there's a lot of people out there covering this guy. He plays midfield, right wing, 26 games, five goals, eight assists. Have you seen the picture of him? The We'll put it up. The picture of I mean, he's a little mini, little mini Meyer next to a little big Modric yeah. back in the day. And then he's got his hair done up. He's like, he's like smiling, looking up at, a, at, at his idol, you know. Uh, I think he's the closest thing we're going to have uh, to Modric. Yeah, he's uh, very in comparable. Future. In fact, his stats are even, uh, some of them are being compared to uh, De Bruyne right now. Yeah, uh, it's, some it's nuts. It, it's, uh, some of his metrics are, are really not that far off, like how he drives play, the shots he creates for his teammates, yeah. um, his passes, his, I mean. It's, he has a great vision. Great vision, great touch, tons of skill. I love you know? watching him play. Looks a little, is he, I don't know if he's bigger, but he looks a little bigger than Modric. He does look a little bit yeah. they, they look filled the same. out. They they look look, the they're same. similar the looking, the hair and ever. I think he's just a slightly bigger version of him, which yeah. bodes well for us. I mean, the guy could almost play nearly any position you want it from yeah. out of front, you know? I mean, you wouldn't put him central striker or anything like that. No one's getting crazy, but I mean... You know, uh, uh, out of midfield to wingers, uh, the guy can fit in anywhere. Yep. He can do almost anything you ask for him on the pitch. He's, what, only 24 years old? I can't wait to see where this guy goes. Oh, after it's Randy. impressive. It's impressive. Who's going to pick him up? He's been so highly. He's getting the same kind of attention right now and uh, hype that a, that a Kovacic yep. is getting. It, it's and he's not he's not on the biggest of clubs yet, but he will be. Yeah. He will be. They're gonna go nuts. He's gonna wind up. He's gonna wind up at a at a Barcelona or a, you know Real Madrid, Real Madrid, Madrid or a uh, Bayern Munich or, or a Bayern or, or, or at least. He's, I mean, he's gonna I would, play for a big team. That's for sure. I'm by. I want to see these guys more than anything. I'd like to see these guys in the EPL. Uh, it's just. Oh yeah. It's just a more fun. It's a more fun league to watch. It's uh, you know, there's. It's a rougher league though. It's a rougher league, but uh, I mean, it, it's it's a good it's a good high pressure good cooker experience. environment, it's and it's experience. and it goes beyond a couple teams yeah. in the league. So your just your general league play is far more um, competitive and stabilized. Mm-hmm. I, I think it, and and then the pressure, the pressure that you have to live with in the EPL on almost any club is so high. It's it's such a high standard that you have to deliver to these. These uh, hooligan nuts over there that are just pine after pine, well, let's steak not call them pie nuts. after let's steak not pie. Them. You know, they're 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 drinking Bovril. You guys are drinking Bovril. Bovril's all right, but you know what? I, I digress. Anyways, <laughs> I'd like to see him in the EPL. That's my league. You know, over my, I would like to see him in the <sighs> Spanish league. You like to Real see him? Madrid. Yeah, it's always That's sexy to see him on Real Madrid, Madrid or something right. like that. Yeah, for sure. Come on. It's all great. Right. Oh, God. Let's talk about another midfielder that's more of a... a you all-around guy? All-around guy. Kristen Yakic. He plays for Yakic. Frankfurt right now. He's 24 years old. Solid uh, solid midfielder. He's fast. Uh, very def- uh, very Seems like a plug-and-play guy for us. Seems like a guy that you exactly. can come in for relief, give some guys some breaks. Seems like he can defend well. He can advance the ball pretty well. Good long balls. You know, excellent passing. It's not necessarily something that... So far, so far, I need to watch more. He doesn't jump off the page quite as much as these other guys, yeah. but, but he's good. He's not as flashy as a. Let's we're say we're a expecting runner. to see him in Qatar. Yeah, right. Part of the roster, yeah. the twenty-four man roster. We're 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 thinking he's going to be there. So, 
He plays for Frankfurt. I don't know if I mentioned it. And uh, 20 that's starts. A, that's a decent club. That's a yeah. decent club to be One goal. Yeah, and 6. one point seven one That's not so score. bad. That's he not reminds so bad. me a little bit of uh, Badet. Badet. Man. He's a, so, a solid player. Solid player. You could always count on. Yeah. Um, could be tough if you needed. Yeah. You know? Exactly. So he's going to be a great addition to the, to the roster. No, for sure. For sure. What about uh, what about our boy uh, Susic here? Susic. Luka Susic. Yeah, Luka. Huge hype around this guy. Huge Dude's got hype. seven goals as seven of last goals, week. Two assists, assists. 25 games played oh my for Red God. Bull seven Salzburg. Goals. And he's only 19 years old. Ah, oh, this 19. guy's so sick. It's Remember all those tournaments that you watched Luka Modric in, and you're just like, this guy's great. Yeah. If only he could score goals. Yeah. You know, you're watching Ozil out there play for Germany. This guy's getting a bit more attention at certain points because he's scoring. You're like, oh, I don't like this guy. He's not as good as Luka. Yeah. Well, guess what? Susic, this guy scores goals, man. He's like, scoring goals. Like, real nice, sweet goals. He's got tons of confidence. Kind of reminds me a bit of Souza in the way that he carries himself yeah. on, on, on the pitch because he's like, he wants it. He wants to be the guy. He wants to have the ball at his feet. He's, he's attacking mid. He's taking his team's penalty kicks. Yeah, yeah. He's taking his team's penalty kicks. They're not giving it to a striker. They're giving it to this kid. It's yeah. 19. 19. It's, it's insane. This guy is the limit. I think he's come on really late here. Like, he's kind of exploded onto the scene probably in the past year and a half or so. Well, he's 19. He's so there's just, there's not – there's. But, I mean, the way he's coming out of the gates here yeah. with seven goals is just absolutely insane. He plays for Red Bull Salzburg, right? Yeah. yeah. That's a, that's a good place to be. Solid if, team to, to If develop. you're going to be up and coming, I mean, from my experience watching some other things, if you're going to be up and coming, if you're attached to the Red Bull name, it's a good place for your career. Yeah. Their promotion machine's very good. Uh, he, he's going to find this, the, the limelight easy with that, like because of the Red Bull brand does help out in some yeah. ways, you know? So I don't know. I'm really excited about this kid. Are a we going to see him? Are we going to see him in Qatar? Are we going to see him part of the I'm roster? I'm not at all? sure. I'm it's, not sure. Not yet. Because of his age, I just don't know. It doesn't seem like the Dalic thing to do. Yeah. So. And we have a lot of players right it's now. It's stupid. In I that know. Position. True, I mean, but like, how many guys can you really like? As much as we said we wanted to see Ivan Rakitic, we're we're not we're not probably yeah. not going to see him. So he's not gone. So how many midfielders are we taking in the tournament, and why is have a lot. Luka Susic not going to be one of them? You know, like tell me that. I mean, you'd have to sacrifice somebody like uh, Pasalic, or uh, you were not or, sac- or, sacrificing Pasalic. That's not happening. <laughs> so there you go. We have <laughs> well, no, Modric, have to... Kovacic, Brozovic. Yeah. Uh, who else? We have? That's that's three yeah. passes. I so guess are going to end up as an attacker mid though. Uh, Meyer. Meyer. That's five. You're so, up to five now. Yeah, yeah. no, it's a log so, jam. It's, this is the problem. But I mean, we have wingers too. You know, yeah. like we got. I don't know. It's going to be tough. We're, we're going to do some uh, roster predictions for our next video. Yeah. We'll, we'll see and, and see who's going to be there in relief and stuff like that. I think he's still young. But he's not going to call him, call him up just yet. Maybe for the Euros. I would like, uh, man, I would I would like to see him being called up, though. I'd like to see it. Oh, uh, we got Vlasic, too. Don't forget Vlasic. Oh, man. It's so, such a, what a log jam. It's, it's insane. It, we're just so overwhelmed with talent yeah. at that position, so, you know? I mean, we could but, understand Dalic. I mean, he has all this talent. There's top choices. And there's he can't take all the players. Yeah. You can't take all the players. You know? But, but he's still young. 19 years old. He has time to develop. Oh, we're going to see a lot of player. him in the future. I just like to a see... A lot of hype around him. Luka Susic. I mean, look, if I have to take one of these super young guns to the tournament, it's probably not... If I had to make a decision between them, and we're going to get to the name that I would take, it's probably not Susic, but I just... I wish we could find room for him because I think that if you brought this guy in uh, to re- in relief uh, late in the game, you know, 20 minutes left, so you're going to get fresh legs with tons of skill with the potential to score. And and of like seven goals is no joke, you know, that's that's no joke at all, especially yeah. for that position. So, uh, I don't know. I would like to see them find a way, but... Uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. There's, you know, there's a lot of talent to go around, and you know. let's move on to strikers. Let's move on to strikers. Let's uh, let's start. Uh, let's start with uh, let's start with Musa. Peter Musa, 24 years old, plays as a striker for Slavia Praha. 
And you said he reminded you a bit of Mario Mandzukic. He's tall, strong, reminds me a little bit of Mario Mandzukic. Clean. He's a bit faster. And this we'll, morning, we got the news. He just signed for Benfica, the Portuguese league. That's a big step in the right direction. In the Portuguese league. It's a good step in the right direction. That's a huge step for him. Yeah. 26 games, 10 goals, 3 assists. 10 goals. Ooh, and they're this nice. Guy, they're pretty sweet. He's, uh, he's strong. got great instincts yeah. uh, in he's the box. He's tall. Yeah. Uh, he, he kind of like he's not a one trick pony. He's not just waiting for crosses. He's he's got some handles. Uh, he can move around some defenders. He, he's got some good great some positioning. Good touches, you know, yeah, great positioning and uh, great second opportunities. Yeah, uh, he follows up shots. He follows balls up. He stays on it like a dog. He wants to score. I mean, the highlight reel is it's it's pretty nice to watch. Yeah. And that the headers, the headers are there. They're good. He's, very, he's really tall. Yeah, he's really tall. He's like fluid. I said. He reminds me of a Mandzukic. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just not as cumbersome. Mandzukic yeah. ended up well, he's still great, you know, for the time that he was. But he, a lot that we saw Mandzukic was he was he was uh, not the most mobile. He was, wasn't in, incapacitated, but this guy's <laughs> got got some speed to him. Uh, there's a good fluidity to his game. Uh, I think if you're if you don't know him yet, you haven't seen him yet. Uh, do yourself a favor and Check go watch it. Yeah, go reel. go watch some highlight reels of him because it's pretty impressive. It's fun to watch. Yeah. I, I like him, and I I, I think uh, I think we're looking pretty good in the future at striker. Way better than I. Th- I think this is going to be the best era of uh, striking and goal scoring that yeah. Croatia has ever seen in yeah. any tournament. It's coming up. It's coming up. It's, it's, it's probably not going to be Qatar, but like let's say the next Euros. Yeah. Ooh, watch out. Watch out. Watch out. These kids, are, these, these kids just need a bit more confidence, and, and uh, I don't know. Sky's the limit. Really, really is. Um, what about the golden child? Okay, so <laughs> the golden child. Now I I I I, I have years old. I have talked about this kid before, and I uh, I kind of railed on him a bit. I uh, didn't see the right footage. I didn't see the right stats, and I was higher on Pasalic than I was on him. Now Pasalic is twenty seven. This kid's eighteen. I went over my I went over my research. I checked him out again properly, and I apologize because holy hell, Rocco Simic is hot shit. This kid looks so good out there. Yeah. Six goals, six games, the uh, U21s for Croatia. Yeah. I think it was the U20. It might have been the U18s. So either way. U21, I think. Yeah. Oh, jeez. He's just tearing it up. He looks U18, yeah, right. so good out there. Who's he playing for? He's, where, he's on Salzburg. Red Bull Salzburg. Yeah. 19 games, 13 goals, three assists. Oh, my God. 13 goals. Jesus. He's a tall striker. He's 18. He's 18. He's 18. He was the youngest kid to ever score. I believe he's the youngest kid to ever score for Dinamo Zagreb. Uh, I don't know about when that. he was called up. Yeah, I, th- I think I think so. Okay. Yeah, I think so. Okay, we'll double check that. We'll double but check. Uh, we'll double check that and put it in the end of the video. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> I don't know. He's looking good. He's uh, he's tall. He's, he's really what, tall. One point like nine meters, yeah. I, I believe. Yeah. Um, I don't know what's not to like. What's he's not the to son like. of uh, Dario Simic. Yeah, the son of uh, the, the legend himself. Um, I was listening to Dario talk about uh, his kid, and he says he, you know what, he really didn't pressure him much. Um, He's not an overbearing uh, soccer dad, you know, which is uh, if you followed it. Like I said, any sport ever, if you see an overbearing father with a rookie, watch out. That's not a good sign. It's a bad <laughs> sign. I've seen it. I've just seen it too many times. Yeah. You don't listen to the coach. You don't do what you need. It's all about you, yada, yada. It's not happening here. This kid wants to earn his stripes properly the right way. He's a fighter. He's a dog. He's got touch. He eats balls up. He, it's, it's. He's not spoiled in a sense that he's just waiting for things to come for him. He really makes things happen out on the pitch. I mean, the highlight reel that I saw initially that I wasn't, the footage I saw, I wasn't such a fan of because they weren't showing enough goals. Yeah. But then when I got to see all the goals, I I, I got to go back and watch the highlights that, that I that I initially found you know weren't the best. They were once you know that he is scoring. Because that entire reel was really him taking balls away from defenders in the box, taking balls off yeah. of guys, you know, by the goal line, and and making something happen. You know, it's not always going to go, but I, just watching his fight and his touch, and uh, yeah, it's he's a bright star for Croatia. Uh, like I said, golden child. He's eighteen, and 
I think see. he needs to be on this roster. I, I think we he are needs missing to be on this roster. Classical strikers. Yeah, we need this uh, guy. Ever since Mandzukic left. Yeah. Uh, actually, we have Budimir. Budimir is there. Right, hey, Budimir has been hot Budimir's lately. On, he's been he, hot lately. He's, he's on a tear. Yeah. In a row, yeah, yeah, he's on a tear. Uh, for Osasuna. How, uh, I don't know what Kramaric is doing, there. but Kramaric has been doing good for us on the pitch. And obviously, you're not going to replace him with anybody, but... Um, I think we need to see this kid there coming in relief now. I've been saying that for a lot of these kids, so I'm sure we can't take them all, obviously. But we need to have I, faith in the system that they're going to integrate these guys at a good time. You want to see them sooner than later, though. Yeah. You know, we, we're not saying, nobody's saying this kid needs a starting role right away, but uh, we, yeah. we got we to gotta see him out there. We got to see him part of the squad. Yeah. All right, let's move on to a couple more players. There's so many of these yeah. guys coming up. This is um, more of the honorable mention section here. Exactly. Uh, one guy that's been solid, uh, that's been a big, there was a big hype around him for a couple of years, and he's been playing for big teams like Wolfsburg, and now he's in Torino. It's Josip Brekalo. He's only 23 years old. He's been playing for top teams for a couple of years now. He's got um, six goals, two assists. Six goals, two assists, and 23 starts for Torino. Play either wing. Either wing, left or right, uh, 7.06 sofa score. Uh, he's on loan from Wolfsburg right now. Um, everybody knows he's talented. Um, one of his weaknesses, he's a little bit small. He's not the strongest player, but his technique, his passing, his dribbling, amazing. He is, uh, I mean, he, we could say he's a future star, but he's a current star right now. Uh, but I think he's going to grow as, a, he's, as he gets older. He's going to grow. He's going to become a better player. Um, Breckel is going to be at the World Cup with us. He's going to make the squad. Um, he's going to make the squad. He's, he's already uh, with the squad. We need help at wing anyways. Yeah. It can't be all Perry Siege. Yeah. So Brekel is there. We got... Uh, Stanisic here. Josip Stanisic is a right-back back defender from Bayern. Bayern. Yeah, he comes from the Bayern system. Um, he only has five started games. It's hard to get into the Bayern team. It, it, it's they're a tough squad. Yeah, they're players. stacked. Uh, you you really got to earn your spot. It's a bit of a dogfight in that roster, but, but that's a good 22. place to be because if you can make it, I mean, you prove yourself over there. Uh, if you can make it for Bayern, if you can play yeah, for Bayern, you, you can play, play anywhere. anywhere. Yeah, exactly. They're very demanding. You know, they, 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 it's a very high standard to meet. So you know? he's solid right back. He's only twenty two. He's going to develop as even more. Yeah, we're going to. And see, he chose to play for Croatia. Yep. He chose to play for Croatia. I think one of his parents is German. Uh, I'd say he chose to. It's a great place to be. Yeah. We need we need more backs, and we just need more depth at every position. And I think you know, as we start looking at these names, that's what we're starting to see. It's we're starting to see a lot of depth. You know, we're yeah. starting to see uh, that that the health of the overall uh, Croatian football program is just brighter and brighter and brighter. The know? Croatian program is great. The Dinamo Zagreb produces great players. It's been so good over there, recently. and also. Uh, Players from uh, other countries, Croatia, a diaspora from the diaspora, oh, play yeah. in Germany and uh, Austria, uh, Italy. Um, you know they're developing great players, and they want to play for Croatia, which is which is, which is great. Yeah, is great. I mean it's just uh, I think it's uh, become more and more and more of an attractive place to be, and we're never gonna have to. I mean, knock on wood, deal with a, uh, a Zlatan situation again. Yeah, you know. Uh, that that we'll, we're we're going to be this the the sexy Sweden next time, you know. I mean, we are we are we, we are the. Sexy, I think Croatia is much sexy sexier Sweden. than Sweden. Oh, right, right now, now. Oh, 100%. Playing, yeah. But I mean, back then, back you know, then, yes, yeah. you know, you're right. If what could have been, what could have been, but there'd be like two World Cups. But I think uh, the Croatian. Uh, Bad. Football Federation was much different back then. Oh, oh, now. I, 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 I would probably I would have made the same decision. You, you wouldn't. Uh, Back then, like you were making horrible decisions back then. Well, uh, it wasn't just it wasn't just like well, yeah, exactly. It wasn't just the football stuff. It was the off the field stuff. Yeah. I mean, there was yeah. so much off the field stuff. Obviously, the plan's not dealing with that. Political He's smart. Look at him. Also. You think that guy's gonna go deal with that? Yeah. No way. But there's man. been a you shift, know? and we've been doing great, developing new players. Yeah, we new players we we, we got. Um, well, we took we took care of a lot of a lot of the controversy. There was some 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 hard moves made in uh, the overall management, yeah. and, and and some of these guys. We won't say any names, but uh, some of these guys got pushed out. You know, yeah. and and that's for the best and the health of everything. Yeah. So uh, hopefully the uh, the good vibes continue. You know, and all change. I find it all changed towards the village era. I think that's when the shift happened when village started bringing in younger players and everything. That was that was a big shift for us. Yeah, 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 for sure. Let's take a look at a few more players we got. Let's take a look at a goalie. We have Ivo Gerbic. Who no, plays for tell Lille. me about this guy. Plays for Lille. 
Uh, 21 starts, 1.3 goals conceded per game, which is not too bad. 6.78 so far. You'd scores. like to see the number a little bit lower, but yeah. Yeah, he's he's a solid goaltender. We've already tested him out. Dalek is he long? Is he tall? He's tall. Yeah, that's good. I don't remember what his height was, but does he do the spaghetti legs? I don't know. No, does he? I don't know. Like, 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 yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Who was it again? What's his name? Oh, Who was it? Uh, Platicosa? Yeah, Platicosa with the spaghetti legs. Ah, that's the best. It's my favorite. We'll see. I mean, to wobble those legs around. Yeah, it's true. Right? Yeah, yeah, he tried to mess with them. <laughs> I don't know if it worked. <laughs> He's 26 years old, goaltender for Lille. Solid. Um, we've already played him uh, for the for the senior squad. Yeah. Uh, we'll see if he could. He could uh, we'll he, see. We'll, we'll see what happens yeah. there. He's solid. So yeah. we, you always need a, one or two good solid goaltenders on the team. You know, not, no, no knocks. Uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Uh, yeah. It doesn't look like it to be. Uh, necessarily projected as a superstar or anything like that right now but we'll, we'll follow along we'll follow along we're interested uh, what about uh, Bradovic so we got another player playing for Lille from playing for Lille with we few, uh, we've seen Croatians like to go in uh, in, in bunches to these clubs apparently <laughs> uh, we got Domagoj Bradovic yeah he's a left back left back he's 22 years old there was a lot of hype with this guy uh, a year or two ago um, really skilled player He's Another young, skilled back. quick. He has a great shot, great dribbling. Uh, he only has two starts this season. There was a bit of controversy with him because he wanted to leave Lil, um, but the team didn't want to let him go, so they kind of put him on the bench. For Another him. young guy getting ticked off at playing. Time. Pretty much, yeah. Um, no, normal. I mean, I understand. They should at least put him on loan. Like if they're not gonna, you know. Because you, you gotta loan him out. Yeah. You, you, you need minutes. I mean, yeah. you, you need minutes. Uh, so I, I, I understand, and I'm sure that when you go sign in these places, they tell you one thing, and then uh, things play out a bit different. I mean, at the end of the day, you're not playing. A lot of that's on you. It's not on everybody else. You know, you got to earn that. But uh, I get it. I get it. So I get a lot it. of hype sometimes. A lot of hype for this guy uh, two years ago. This season, he's having a tough time. They kind of he's he's being benched. Yeah, uh, but he just needs more playing time. Maybe yeah, we'd like to see, we'd like to see him at least get a, get a loan somewhere so we could see him. And, you know, put him down a league if he have to, but at least make sure that he's getting reps because it'd be nice to get some some you know more footage on him. And see what that yeah. goes, you know, and uh, let him regain his confidence because uh, he's really skilled and he's really good. So yeah, if we could have another guy at left back, we were we already have Sosa. We already have. Uh, uh, well, we've got a couple of players yeah. left back. Sosa's great, but there, there is deficiencies in Sosa's game as well. Like, as much as we're, like, so hyped on Sosa, he is... I don't think so, though. <laughs> I think he's perfect, uh, he's, man. He's, 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 he's not, he's, he's, uh, he's not the best one-on-one. -on -one. He doesn't he doesn't really like to defend that much in one-on-one -on -one situations. He has trouble uh, sometimes tracking his man. He's got a ton of speed, though, so he can make up for that. But, nonetheless, he's got a few defensive metrics that aren't the best, but they... Do look like a. They might be a product of the system that he plays in, and b. It's really more of um, of uh, just wait because at a certain point he's going to commit to it, and then you're going to forget all about that because it's a desire thing. It's not a skill based thing. It's not like he can't do it, but it's more of when he finally you know hunkers down and and focuses on that. I, I think that'll change. You know, but you know, let me say it. Maybe he doesn't end up as a back. He's got so much skill that he can move up. So you're right. We're talking about that recently. Maybe yeah, he could, take... he, he, he could be the heir apparent for Perry Siege. I, I think there, there's a chance that um, if Borna Sosa moves from the club that he's on right now and goes somewhere else, they might just actually play him at wing. They won't even play him at wing back or uh, or, or whatever. So yeah. we'll see. But uh, I mean, his skill more than makes up for the, for everything. So uh, one more play I want to talk about: Luka Ivanushevs. Uh, plays for Dinamo Zagreb. 23 games, three goals, four assists. He's attacking midfielder and a right winger. We've seen him. Nice uh, stats. We've seen him at the Euros, the last Euros. So Dalic put him in from the bench. Yeah, a lot of dribbling. A lot of dribbling. Speed. He yeah. has so much speed. We saw it right away when he got into the game. You know, he changed uh, the speed of the, of the, the team. He was much love that. You gotta love that when we when we bring in a guy off the bench that's really got a, a lot of drive. Yeah. And gives you know, a big boost. It changes things. That's why. Changes. That's why. Uh, you know. That's that's why a guy like um, like I want to see a guy like Susic on that. You know. Like I, there's a reason why you want to see some of these young guns that have the legs, that have the skill. Uh, you're not talking starting roles, but to be able to have that card to play, you know, almost at so many different positions. 
that if you need to inject some speed on that side, if one of these guys are getting a little tired, their legs are starting to fall in the game, you hit, then you, you can go and hit them with one of these kids. Yeah. Oh man, that's that's quite that's quite the ability. That's quite the bonus to have on your team. So uh, huge talent. He's playing for Dinamo. A lot of teams are looking at him right now. So uh, just another midfielder, attacking midfielder, even a right winger that we could add to the list. So if we take a look at all these players. We got a couple of players for every single position. Yeah, we 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 could have built a whole team with these players we just named today. Yeah, and and, it's and, be a and, solid and, team. And, and you'd still be thinking, hey, you know what? We, we might win a couple games here. Yeah, you know what I mean. We might do some damage with these guys. They're like they're they're super young, super inexperienced, but look at the talent. And look add, at the talent. you get you get these guys playing together and get used to each other. Yeah, you, you don't know. You and know, add in a couple of uh, senior guys, like Kovacic yeah. and Yeah, uh, Brozovic. Oh man, next episode is definitely going to be uh, one of our early predictions for rosters for sure. Yeah, we'll do Again, that. Yeah. But our next episode will be the Champions League final predictions and the Europa League final predictions. That's right. That's right. That's, that's right. coming up next week. So, guys, for this episode... Oh, Champions League. Oh, Champions League final? Champions League. Oh, did Champions you see League that? Oh, did you see that Man City blow up? Ooh. Yeah. My buddy wouldn't talk to me for a full three days. <laughs> he was pretty hurt. That was crazy. That was Real insane. Madrid, wow. Yeah, yeah. It was uh, two goals in... Uh, in the in the 90th and 90th yeah. plus it is uh <laughs> well, we're going to talk about that next week wow liverpool versus real madrid yeah it's gonna be a great game mosala baby so that is our list for the top croatian young shots that are coming up oh baby get jack so exciting so, so exciting. exciting croatia has a bright future so bright it's awesome glad to be here it, it we got better tournaments ahead you know well it's going to be exciting to watch. Yeah. I can't wait to watch these kids play for Croatia. All right. Well, it's been great. It's been great, guys. Don't forget to subscribe at the bottom here. Don't Smash that like. Helps Smash us out it. more than you know. Don't forget to check From out what Instagram. I understand. All the other people say that it affects the algorithm. <laughs> Just click subscribe, please. Thank you. All right. Don't forget to check out Instagram and checkermates.com. This is Ivan P. Ed. See you guys later. Ciao.